Hello, darling. Good to see your name this morning. Hiya, Connor. How you doing, mate? I miss seeing you, Connor and Rach. Virginia, hi. Sandra. We've all been waiting. <laughs> Carrick, hello, Carrick. Al, hi, Al and Annie. Well, we're just going to wait for more people to come. Hi, Anne. Not quite so sunny or warm today, but actually it's quite nice to have a bit of fresh air and um, just have a bit of breeze coming in through the door. Hi, Dawn. Jane, hello, lovely Jane. Hi, Anne. <laughs> Morning. So as usual, we're going to just wait for a few more people to join us. There's Mel. Hi, Mel. And uh, just to say good morning, Lainey. Hello, Lane. Rob. Hello, mate. And you know, um, as we wait, it's Wednesday the 15th of April. And it's quite scary that it's the middle of April already. The time's going so quickly. Hi, Claire. Hey, gorgeous. It's the 15th. So we've, we've done Easter. We've managed to get through that. <laughs> we're getting to that point where we're thinking, okay, we've pro probably had enough now. And I know some of you have been isolating for longer than the time that we were told to stay in because of uh, being vulnerable or having vulnerable people in your family. Hey, Judith. Hi, Roz. Connie. Carrie. Ray. Hi, Ray. So as usual with St Mag's Community Morning Prayer, we um, are going to be following the Lectio 365 app. Um, and today it's beautiful um, and you'll recognise the name, I'm sure, of who we're going to be looking at this morning. Uh, quite often on a Tuesday they take a break from their normal rhythm and um, look at somebody, somebody from Christian history who's, who's uh, got some amazing stories to tell, um, maybe as an author or a missionary. So hi Pauline and Sam. Okay, good to see you. Penny, hey Penny. We're going to get going. Okay, so following this let's pray to start and then um, we'll move into this time of Lectio. It is Wednesday, Rachel. It's Wednesday the 15th of April 2020. That's today's date. So whether you're joining us live now, or whether you're joining us um, on YouTube, maybe in a year's time, who knows? That's today's date. Now we were talking to Sam's brother, I'm gonna pray in a moment, we we're gonna talk to Sam's brother Richard last night. And he had an idea, because he loved the way Sam just had his cup of tea, and it was like we were having a cup of tea together. So I thought we could do a simultaneous sip. Have you all got your cups of tea? So I've got my coffee in my favourite coffee mug. If anyone else uses this mug in the morning, there's trouble. So let's do a simultaneous sip of our coffee. Good morning, everybody. Here's my sip. That was a gulp. Good morning, Helen. Hey, Jane. Okay, let's get going. Let's pray to start and just take a deep breath and let's be still. Lord God, we pray this morning that you would open our eyes so that we can see and open our ears so that we can hear not only your voice and what you want us to do, but the, the world around us, not with eyes that are full of fear, but with eyes that see hope and ears that hear good news. Thank you, Lord, for this time together. Thank you for the technology to do this. Thank you for our church family and beyond. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Okay, so today we're taking a break from uh, encounters with the resurrected Jesus in the Gospel of John to celebrate the life of Corrie ten Boom, a hero of prayer. 
So as I enter prayer now, I pause to be still, to breathe slowly, to recenter my scattered senses upon the presence of God. As I draw near to you, God, would you draw near to me? Teach me to pray. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. I rejoice in God's mercy today, joining with the ancient praise of all God's people in the words of Psalm 145. The Lord is merciful and compassionate slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. The Lord is good to everyone. He showers compassion on all his creation. All of your works will thank you, Lord, and your faithful followers will praise you. Now, Corrie Ten Boom was born on this day in 1892. Her faith her brave action during the Second World War and her subsequent teaching on prayer and forgiveness inspires and challenges us today. Growing up near Amsterdam in the Netherlands, Corrie was part of a well-respected Christian family. From a young age, she gave her time and energy to helping others, including children with additional needs. When the Nazis invaded their country in 1940, the Ten Booms hid an estimated, one, eight, an estimated 800 resistance fighters and Jews in secret rooms in their home, protecting them until they could be moved to safe houses elsewhere. In February 1944, the Ten Booms were betrayed when a man asked Corrie to help pay a bribe to free his wife. Nazis arrived to arrest the family, but Corrie protected the Jews and resistance fighters in their home by hiding them in a secret space in her bedroom. During her imprisonment, Corrie was first placed in solitary confinement and interrogated. Then she and her sister Betsy were put in a Dutch concentration camp for women. Even in these harsh and harrowing conditions, Corrie and Betsy helped others by leading a prayer group with a smuggled Bible each night. Though Betsy died in the concentration camp, Corrie was released by what may have been a clerical error, saving her life and allowing her to go on helping others, including teaching on prayer and forgiveness. After the war, in recognition of her work, Corrie was knighted by the Queen of the Netherlands and was honored by Israel as righteous as Righteous Among the Nations, a title given to the non-Jews who risked their lives to help Jews during the Second World War. Speaking on effectual prayer, Corrie Ten Boom taught that there's nothing too great for God's power and nothing too small for God's love. I learned that in the difficult class of life school. When you're in a difficult class, then you learn much, especially when the teacher is good and my teacher was the Holy Spirit. In the same sermon, Corrie told her audience about catching a cold whilst living in a concentration camp. Her sister Betsy told her to pray and ask God for help. Corrie laughed. Betsy, however, prayed to God to give Corrie a handkerchief, a simple, practical prayer. After she said Amen, a friend arrived and gave Corrie a gift of a handkerchief. How in the world did you know that I needed a handkerchief? asked Corrie. Her friend replied, there was a voice in my heart who said, bring a handkerchief to Corrie Ten Boom. Corrie continued, can you understand what a handkerchief tells you in such a moment? That there is a father in heaven who hears it when on a very small planet, the earth, someone of his, ch someone of his children prays for an impossible small thing, for a hanky, and that father in heaven tells one of his other children, give a handkerchief to Corrie Ten Boom. That is the foolishness of God. But the foolishness of God is the great... 
my reception's not very good. We often dismiss my, our own worries as trivial, but it's especially easy to do this at a time when many are suffering because of the coronavirus pandemic. However, in this moment, I choose to trust that God is interested in me, in you. Lord, we bring our anxieties and needs to you and thank you that there's nothing too great for your power and nothing too small for your love. Amen. There is nothing too great for your power and nothing too small for your love. I'm going to say that again. There is nothing too great for his power and nothing too small for his love. Lord, please remind me of the people I know who are burdened by anxieties and needs at the moment. I ask you to make your presence felt in their lives today and ease their burdens. Lord God, we pray for all we know, all the anxieties, all the burdens, all the worries, whether small or large. Lord, I pray that you are very close with everyone who is watching this and you make yourself tangibly felt with them. Help them, Lord. Give them comfort and peace. In Jesus' name, amen. So God, we are deeply moved by the faith of Corrie and Betsy Ten Boom, even in the midst of a Nazi concentration camp. In all we face today, the celebrations, the challenges and everything in between, help me to remember that nothing is too great for your power and nothing is too small for your love. Help me to practice turning all my worries and needs into prayer, trusting in your attention and compassion. Amen. And we close. Father, help me to live this day to the full, being true to you in every way. Jesus, help me to give myself away to others, being kind to everyone I meet. And Spirit, help me to love the lost, Proclaiming, kite, proclaiming Christ in all I do and say. Amen. Amen. I know lots of people have put comments on here today. My phone is pathetic and running out of power, so if it cuts off, I'm so sorry. You're right, Adrian, he's concerned with the little details too. Penny's put some interesting information on about her, about Corrie Ten Boom. My mum used to give me books by her and I never really took enough interest when I was a teenager. I wish I had. I'm gonna go and find those books because I keep everything and I'm gonna reread it. Well, church family, I'm praising God because my Tesco order's just come. If you are in trouble, if you need anything, if you're running out, please let us know. Phone the church number, email office at stmags.co.uk.org.uk. Claire, can you please put the phone number and the emails on your comment? Because I know that your memory is amazing. Um, but we love you. We need you to tell us if you need us because we, we can't read minds. We need to know. But it's glorious being with you here. The Wren's going. There she is, he is, singing her praises to God. But Lord, thank you, Claire. Fantastic. Well, let's, um, we'll join Sam tonight for another simultaneous sip and some prayer. Um, and guys, we will see you soon. Sam's back tomorrow morning. Have a good day. Have a good day. And if it's been hard, please share. I was chatting with people yesterday and it was a real blessing. Share with others if you're struggling. If you need something, let us know. But God is with you. You can pray for anything. No gin. Gin is not an emergency, Al. I'm sorry. But look, have a great, great day, guys, and we'll see you soon. Much love, and um, we're praying for you every day. Take care. Bye.